So this one's gonna be a quick video. Uh, this is gonna be somebody opening their door on a motorcycle rider causing an incident. So this motorcycle rider is doing very good about going slow, but then we have a car door open and they're gonna fall down. Let's figure out what happened. So this is from Slow Rider, and <laughs> he's going relatively slow. So he's minimizing that risk. He's taking out that crash factor of high speed. But here's other factors here. We're coming up to a taxi where everything is slowing down. People don't wanna pay money sitting in traffic, so they're gonna get out and then walk the rest. Let's say this person has just one more block to go, decided, you know what, dude, I'm good. I'll walk the rest, boom, I'm getting out. So this is one of those situations where it's kinda of dangerous to be passing on the right side, I would be passing in between the vehicles, not on the right side. So that was definitely a factor in this. And when I say taxi, you can kind of see that it's his uh, things blurred out right here, but he's a taxi. So you see the little marker right there on top. And then uh, there's a vehicle in front of him that has the same kind of stripe on it. So that's going to indicate that it is a taxi. Um, that is one of those big deals that it's, uh, it's not good to be passing on the right. So we have the brake lights appearing right here and then we have a door starting to open up. So we have to start watching for doors and, and different things when we're on the right side. Typically, you don't have to watch for doors if your lane's filtering in between vehicles because they're kind of in the mode of traffic, they're still moving. Uh, the ones on the right can easily just pull off to the side, unload, and go. So that's one of those things you have to watch out if you're gonna be passing on the right. So let's when we're passing on the right, let's watch for those doors starting to creep open and minimize our speed. And he's doing good with the speed, but this is what I was talking about. You can have good skills, you can have uh, good search, evaluate, execute, or you can have terrible search, evaluate, execute, great skills, you know, any combination thereof. So if we're not seeing the hazard, if we can't see the hazard, guess what? All the skill in the world is not gonna save us. This right here, we need to see hazards. We need to start thinking. We need to start uh, hazard perception, all these different things. And then if we start to see a door pop up, that's where our skills are gonna kick in. We need to have that search, evaluate, execute. Search first, evaluate, and then execute. We never uh, executed anything on here because we never got to evaluate anything. So that's kind of what happened in this situation. Thank you for sending it in, but guys, let's watch out for doors like that. So we're gonna go ahead and move forward. It's a green light for him. The intersection isn't gonna be the dangerous position in this one. We are gonna have a car turn out in front of us and it's gonna be this white car, boom, right here, turns out in front of us, and now he's gonna go ahead and slow down, and he did a head check just in case he had to do his escape path, letting the vehicle go. 